All right, so we're not actually making the reptile room. It's already been made, but we are making it better. So if, if you hear from the title, just stay tuned, hear me out, and let's talk about some upgrades that are coming to the reptile room in the very near future. Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptile back with another video today. And today, like you guys already heard, we are going through some of the upgrades that are going to be happening in the next couple weeks, if not months, to the reptile room. So before we get into it, I do just want to mention that if you are interested in following me on social media or buying some merch supporting the uh, expansion or improvement of the reptile room, there will be links down below for that. So you guys can go check that out. Click the show more tab, expand it. I got merch. You can just follow me. It's it's nice, okay? It's nice to have friends. All right, so this this has major running gun video reptile room tour vibes, but let hear me out. Hear me out. So first off, um, you guys can see that the orchid tank plant room tour coming soon. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a plant room tour because I do plan to have that out in the very near future. What we really want to talk about is this rack over here. This big boy at the back. And what we want to do is actually get rid of both of these two three foot racks and put in one of the six foot or seven foot, I, I can't remember even what size, 77 inches I believe, racks like what this one is and what that one is over there. I do have a diagram on my iPad that I kind of drew out that will accurately represent the new vision for this brand new rack that we are getting. The rack hasn't come in yet, and unfortunately we just learned about more restrictions, so I'm not sure exactly how fast this is going to happen. But these two racks will be disappearing, and a new bigger one will be coming. With one of the racks from back there, we are going to be moving one of the three foot racks from there, coming around the room, and putting it back here. So. What that's gonna allow me to do is set up a brand new rack full of plant bins, maybe plant tanks, maybe a dart frog tank will end up being one of them. I don't know, I haven't actually thought it through, but uh, basically just setting up more area for plant bins, we'll call them, to grow plants because I love plants. I hope you guys love plants and uh, I really want to, uh, that's part of our, our new business. We'll be selling some plants. And Sheldon will be getting an indoor pen built the entire bottom of essentially one of these racks here. So the entire bottom of it will actually be a pen for Sheldon and that'll be about 75 inches or so long by two feet front to back and probably about 20 inches tall for him to have plenty of space for moving around when he's not outside during the summertime. The next shelf up is actually going to be for these guys. A whole plethora of breeze, smaller geckos like the Strophorus ciliaris like you see up. Yeah, so they'll be for that guy right there. These tanks won't really be changing. They'll just be getting moved onto the middle row of this future large rack. So it'll be a whole row of 12 by 12 by 18 exoterras. And then above it, I'm going to be building custom glass tanks for some dart frogs. I'm really excited for this because I really just want some more dart frogs in my life. I'm gonna be building an entire rack's worth of dart frog tanks, similar to what you guys might have seen in Troy Goldberg's videos. And I'm really, really excited for that. I have the glass cut for two of them, so I will be able to make those two relatively shortly. That middle rack of the 12 by 12 by 18s that I mentioned will also be getting upgrades for these guys, the Eurodactylodes occidentalis, and these guys, the Eurodactylodes VRD. And fortunately enough, we actually have those tanks being built right now. Let me show you. And here are the tanks. 
this was them in the very early stages. There's only one coat of dry lock on at this point, and they took a major transformation from now. I'm actually recording this in the future, as you might imagine, and the tanks are done, fully planted, and look incredible. You guys can see them in the next reptile room tour that I end up posting, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. It is definitely beautiful tanks that Brie made. I had nothing to do with these tanks. I helped out Brie make them a little bit, but the entire design was all hers, and I think she killed it. She did a really good job. Now let's check out what the Fiji is being moved into. And this is actually going to be the Fijian Bandit Iguana tank. Right now it's just being used for storage. I'm waiting for a custom background from Universal Rock for that. Hello, Mr. Bear. This is going to be a massive upgrade for him that I imagine he'll probably be getting midsummer ish I'm, I'm not sure yet when exactly everything will be here and be ready to be installed, but that's my guess is around that time. I have my plant tent that will be coming out soon enough. I don't actually have a date for it just yet. A little view of the goodies in the meantime. Oh boy, and that's just a few of the upgrades. I do have a secret project coming in may or june i actually need an update from the company about when i can then post about it but may or june will be coming a brand new tank a brand new build and a really cool upgrade for the froggos over there the guys in that bin so those will have a new home uh, there's just so many things happening in the room right now uh, like i don't know i feel like one of those people that's like oh well we need to upgrade this and we need to upgrade this and it's true do we need to upgrade them? In my opinion, yes. In many's, and many others' opinions, maybe not. But like, for example, we'll be upgrading these guys, Rocket, into a new 181824. Not really upgrading, I guess, but more or less just redoing this because it's Bree's first tank she ever made, and it really needs to be redone. Beyond that, I mentioned that I also have my little buddy Swaro, who is hanging out over here. You guys can see him right there. He will be getting upgraded into these guys right here. These are the uh, two foot by two foot by 16 inch, I believe, tall enclosures. So he'll be going there. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm just I'm just running through everything. I don't want this to be a super long video, and I also have a feeling most people won't want to watch this stuff, so I'm just kind of running through it and hoping that you guys enjoy it. The Cruzio Highlight Craspidopus will be getting an upgrade to an 18-18-24 as well. I'm not really sure what the timeline on that will be. I'm not in a huge rush. Uh, I know I'm gonna catch flack from Troy and a couple of my friends for continuing to keep them in a bin. There's just so much stuff on the go. It, it never really ends, <laughs> even when all this stuff is done. We'll either have different animals to upgrade. Eventually, the Boega will be needed to be upgraded. Uh, he'll probably be getting a custom tank to replace this here, uh, the Fijian Bandit Iguana tank. He will be getting something uh, about the size of this rack and a really cool display eventually. I mean... He's being a kind of pain in the butt right now with eating, so he's not growing all that fast. But, uh, hi Fiji. Uh, I'm gonna roll a clip right now of him being super social with me last night. So, and Bree too. He was, he was hanging out and having a good time. With the new COVID restrictions that were just implemented into Ontario, we're not allowed to leave for anything. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how quickly these projects come along. I'm still working full time, so it doesn't really affect me, thankfully, but uh, it affects a lot of other people and the ability to get supplies for new builds. So I think I'm gonna stop rambling here. Let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. I, I guess I'll know by the amount of views and stuff it gets, but just walking around kind of showing you what is being done. Yeah, I think I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comments down below. I try and reply to every single comment that I get. If you guys like this rambly video style, just leave it down below. I think it's kind of entertaining and <laughs> I mean, to me it is, but 
I don't know. I guess I guess we'll find out. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. If you made it this far, leave a like on the video. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to click the show more tab. Follow me on the social medias. And if you really want to be a superstar supporter, purchase some merch because um, maybe I'll come up with some new designs pretty soon. I don't know. That's it for me. We'll catch you in the next one. Plant Room Tour. Let's go!